Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeff with iDownload Blog. Have you ever wanted to create your own custom themes for your iPhone, your iPod, or your iPad, but you found it a little too difficult? Well, thanks to this new jailbreak app entitled Code Theme, that difficulty is a thing of the past. Folks, this is an awesome theming platform for the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. Once the app is installed, just sign up for an account, and once you have your account, just go ahead and log in to your account. It really is as simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and log in now. And if it's your first time logging in, you'll be greeted by this empty My Themes page. It tells you you haven't created any themes yet. Use the plus button to create one. Well, we'll get to that in just a second. But notice these tabs down here at the bottom. You have the My Themes page, and then you have your Home Page tab, which includes all the feature popular themes available for download. Then you have your Transfers tab at the bottom. But let's go back to our main home page here. And this, again, includes all the different themes you can download. I mean, there's just a plethora of different themes that are available. And these are all custom themes that are made by users. Now, this theme right here is made by my buddy Tech Tech Man TV. Check him out on YouTube. Now, not all of the themes are compatible with every device, as you'll notice here. This one is compatible with this iPhone, as you see right there at the top. But if it's a retina display uh, theme or uh, just a normal standard definition theme, it'll tell you. Now, as you can see, this also includes tons of different social features. You have comments, so you can comment on each theme. Um, you can like your themes. You can check out the profiles of the theme creators, which is really nice. Um, you can check out all their themes. And as I stated before, you can actually like the theme. So you can like that for later. You can come back to it if you want to check that out later. And there are other social aspects. Notice the share button in the upper right-hand corner. You have Twitter, Facebook, read it later, more. And then more opens up another bevy of services that you can share this particular theme with. So very, very social app. And that's one of the strongest features of Code Themed is a lot of social features baked right into the app. But enough about that, let's go ahead and tap install and you see how the install works. It's sort of like the Mac App Store, how that just kind of goes down there to the bottom um, for your transfers tab. And once you have it transferred over, all you need to do is open it in Winterboard or you can just hit OK and come back to Winterboard later. So first, let's just go ahead and open Winterboard and let me show you what you can expect. Let's select themes and there it is, folks, Tech Tech Man TV's theme. So you want to go ahead and enable that. And then if you hit your home button, then the iPhone will respring, of course. Let's unlock it and see what we have. There it is, folks. There is our custom theme from Tech Tech Man TV. So as you can see, it really doesn't get much simpler than that, does it? I mean, that's pretty simple. You just download the theme, enable it in Winterboard, and you're good to go. Um, so let's go back to our My Themes tab. At the top, you have the Create It, Install, and Like tabs. Let's go over to Install, and there is the theme that we currently have installed. If you swipe on that, then you can have more options. You can delete it from there. Let's delete from my device and it's gone and it's uninstalled. Now let's head back over to my themes and this time, you know what? Let's go ahead and create our own custom theme. Now this does cost 99 cents. I've already paid, but a PayPal window will pop open and it'll ask you to submit your PayPal information and then you can pay 99 cents to unlock this feature to create your own themes. But I think it's worth it. It's really the whole soul behind this app. It's, it's all about creating your own themes and sharing them with your friends and with others in the theming community. So really altering or creating a theme is super easy. All you do is you tap on a particular app icon and then you replace it with either your own custom image that you've uploaded to your camera roll or one of the predetermined or predefined images as you can see here. So let's just choose a predetermined image there for context. You can see how to look now. Let's choose another app icon. How about calculator? And then there's plenty to choose from here. I like that one right there. And uh, what about camera? Let's see. Uh, I think I like this one in the bottom left hand corner right there. Now you can also um, add your own. Well, let's, let me choose maps real quick. And then I'll show you how you can add your own picture. You can either snap a picture with a camera or you can choose one from your camera roll. So it doesn't have an icon for this application because this is a jailbreak application that I'm trying to theme here. And of course it won't have it. But if you've already uploaded an image and you go to your uploads tab, you'll see that image there that you already uploaded. You can select that image or you can add your own by hitting the little camera in the upper right hand corner right there. So you can take a photo or choose from the library. So lots of different options here. It's going to allow for some pretty wild and crazy themes, I imagine. But let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's just choose the image that we already created. Uh, there it is for Icon Maker. So you can see how it should look. 
once the theme is actually created. Now there are other customization options. You have dock wallpaper and icon options. For the wallpaper, you can choose any predefined wallpaper, and this is just like the app icons, or you can upload your own. Um, we're gonna go ahead and choose this predefined wallpaper. I don't have any good images yet. Um, but if you want to, you can always, you know, go to the camera option and choose your own particular wallpaper there. Now, the next option under the more tab is the dock option. And you can choose all these different docks here. And it's the same methodology. You can choose a predefined dock or you can upload your own dock image and then use that. And last but not least, icon options. You can choose icon transparency, which is pretty self-explanatory. Or you can swipe over, choose the dock label color. You see the little colors on the uh, labels for the dock. And then there's also undocked label color. If you swipe over twice, let me show you that. There's undocked label. Now watch the labels for the undocked icons. They change color as well. But I like the white. That's just me. Go ahead and hit done. We can save our changes. And once the changes are saved, well, it's going to ask you first to name your theme. So I'll name that theme. You can also choose a particular category to put the theme under. And that makes it easy to search for it later. So hit save. And now you can make it private or public because this theme is so terrible. I'll just hit private there. But public allows others to download your theme. And that's where the whole social aspect comes in. So your theme has been saved to your account successfully. And now we need to install it. So just tap on the theme and you'll see uh, a section that looks similar to the other theme that we installed earlier. Um, but of course, I created this theme myself. So I'm a proud papa. I'm a proud papa. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap install. You'll see the theme go down to the... Um, transfer tab at the bottom, you tap that, um, and then you can open it in Winterboard. So same exact method to enabling this theme as the last one. Let's put our white icon labels above, and now we should go ahead and just exit out and respring. And there you go, folks. There is our custom theme. You can see the custom uh, app icons. Now you'll notice the icon maker, I had a custom image that I actually took an image and uploaded it and used it for icon maker. It didn't actually show up on there, so there may still be a problem with some of those custom images. Um, but that is a jailbreak app that I use to customize, so that could be a problem in itself. So just keep that in mind. Um, notice what happens also when you open a folder that the uh, you know the theme kind of goes away and then it comes back, you know, the, the wallpaper. So just keep that in mind as well. It's kind of a interesting little effect there um, but you know those are just some minor minor gripes i think the overall nature of this this jailbreak app allowing you to customize your theme so easily is going to be a big hit especially the social aspects of code themed now there are three settings in the settings app you can show all your installed themes even if they've been installed outside of code theme you can have auto transfer on or off and then you can have it open in winterboard on or off so not too many settings there, but not really necessary because the app itself contains most of the settings. Again, Code Theme should be available today. You can find it on Cydia. It is free, but keep in mind that you will have to pay that 99 cents if you want to create your own custom themes. But I think if enough people do this, this could be a major hit due to its social aspects. Folks, let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.